Hi and welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to do a little project share before I send it off in the mail. This is some outgoing happy mail. Um, this was a swap led by Jen Cassell. She did our little tutorial for this swap. This is um, a mini bookcase memory decks card. So we've been doing in the Loaded Envelope Schooler Facebook group, we've been doing memory deck swaps for the past year, I would say. And they're all 3D, so this is like so stinking cute. I love how this turned out. So it's got a memory dex card base under there, and then it's got the little mini bookcase. We did a bookcase swap, I think last year, but this was a mini one turned into a memory dex card. I just love it. I'll turn around and show you the back. Please excuse my dog outside whining. I have my windows open today because it's lovely here. So anyway, there's mine. I did it in a Maggie Holmes um, collection. I can't think of the name of it, maybe Carnival or something like that. Um, so it's all like I actually picked my ephemera the, for the first time instead of my paper for the first time. Like I did it my process backwards and I just love how it came together. So I found this cute little um, cotton candy that someone made me. I wish I could give credit. I do not remember who sent me that little pom-pom cotton candy. I just thought it was so stinking cute and that just kind of inspired the whole thing. Like I went from there and I was like, oh wait, I have that Maggie Holmes carnival paper. So I also had this awesome, awesome gold zebra from the talented Holly Miller. She makes the most beautiful embellishments. Like, look at that guy. He is so cute. I love him. Had some puffy hearts in my stash from some from swaps. I cut out this little um, Ferris wheel from the paper collection. Same thing with the little tickets. I just It was a long ticket I cut in half. Made a little crepe paper rosette to go in the back. And then I had some of these dangles in my stash as well. So we also made, oops, some of my charms are falling out. We made these little books to go inside the bookcase. Isn't that cute? I mean, they're tiny. They're so cute. And inside we were told to put, on this one I put some Velcro. Um, just little swap embellishments. In this box I have some charms. I'm probably going to add some other stuff to it just to bulk it up. But look how cute that is. This came together so easily. And I just looped some little dangles off the side. This one I tied a little bow on. Um, it's supposed to sit like that, but it moves around in the box. Little pom-pom dangle. More Velcro. Inside I put some pom-pom paper clips. Just trying to stick with a little theme. I always like to send themed items like as gifts too. Another little tassel charm on this one, dangle on this one. This one I did the zebra paper on. This one has a tie, and I've cut the ribbon so short, I'm not going to open it. <laughs> because I keep wrecking the ribbon every time I open and close it. But inside, I put, what did I put in there? I don't even remember. So that'll be a surprise for my swap partner, because I did this several days ago, and I can't remember what I tucked inside. So all the little books just nest inside the box. I did paper on the inside of the box, too. From the collection and a little pom-pom trim I obviously love pom-poms <laughs> did a pom-pom uh, cotton candy pom-pom charm pom-pom trim yeah I like the pom-poms I think they're cute but anyway this is gonna be going out to my swap partner in the next day or two whenever I head up to the post office I just want to do a share I'm gonna link um, the tutorial for this that Jen did in the description box I hope you all have a great day thanks for stopping by